Burgard River here, Portland, Indiana Tractor Show. We're over by the horse barns. Oh, the, oh, the, the cat left, the barn cat. But these are the tractors at the world's largest tractor show. The rows of the tractors. Family owned tractors. I'm, I'm kind of walking out of the middle. I'm gonna have to walk over to that end. There's a working sawmill. There's a working drag line cranes over yonder. The green tractors, they're just all mixed up sort of. Show tractors, antique tractors. There's a specialty high tractor by AC. A lot of walking involved for, you know, I got to ride the bike 2,200 miles or whatever. And so, don't want to spend the night over here. But I did, I wanted to come over here because the, I seen the signs for the Gravelys. These are from 65 and we still use these on the farm. Those are 10,000 bucks a piece. Okay. We used to have a planter like that one. It's pretty popular. So a case 300. Here we go. From Farmland, Indiana. That's a heck of a name, isn't it? It's my girlfriend's hay bale and tractor. Somebody's out there running an old dozer. But the Gravely set up over here. And people forget about Gravely's and you know they're not missing a whole lot but they're lifetime machines this is probably the best Gravely display you're ever gonna see put together as one it's, it's a big year for them and it's about twice as much as they usually have it looks like so you would attach about anything you wanted to one and then they made a rider Look at these ones. Huh. They almost look like stump cutters. And this one has a real mower. Look at this stuff. The moldboard plow, gravely. Um, Dunbar, West Virginia. With the little planters connected to the almost looks I don't know a gang mower with the sulky that you ride on on the back and that's kind of the draw to me I thought it was cool to watch the guy when I was in school I'd always look out the window at the guy mowing the grass because he used one of those he rode in that sulky it was just fun to see him after getting his ass whipped mowing the grass every day with that old thing We'll see one up here. This, these are what they'd use. But today they all use those zero turns. There's a and white. And then your sulky goes behind there, see? So yeah, not as big of a display as I, I thought there would be. They kind of last forever and it says commercial right on there. You see them come up on Craigslist once in a while. They're very dangerous to run um, he has a standby auxiliary uh, generator on his gravely push mowers kind of different and new you, you kind of wonder about the value um, a gravely with a turning front end off of hydraulics and everything um, a sophisticated cutaway of a gravely. A salesman sample of sorts. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Burger Rippy here, checking out the gravely display and the tractors. And this guy took a gravely, turned it in reverse, or however he did that, and put a mini bike frame on it and a trailer just for the hell of it just to say he could do it okay 
So this is your typical, when you see one for sale, the guy who owns the wheelbarrow one has the snow blower and the mower and part of a sulky. And yeah, it's an easy fixer on uh, Craigslist, so to speak. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Bogar Rippy here, clear on the extreme end of the fairgrounds. There's actually a Gravely's parts display down through here. And uh, I'm going to skip doing a video of that. And they have the loading docks over here for the truckers. And they're ready for, in case, what, what would you do if a big thunderstorm comes through, guys? And so, something to think about. Thanks again.